All right, here in Photoshop, we're gonna talk about artboards and how artboards can be used in Photoshop. Now, normally we see artboards in Illustrator where you could have many artboards in one workspace. Well, here in Photoshop, normally we just have one canvas in the workspace, but we could actually have artboards and multiple artboards, or we could even say multiple canvases in one workspace. So let's take a look at how that works. So I'm gonna to go to File, New, and I'm gonna create a new um, canvas here. But So I've already set it up at 1600 by 1200 pixels. This is kind of the project we're working on. And I make it 72 pixels per inch. It doesn't really matter what you do here because you get have multiple artboards in a resolution of 300 or 72. It doesn't really matter. Now, what I can do right away, I actually have this artboards checkbox I can click on right now that it'll convert this canvas into an artboard right away. So actually, let's do it this way first. But I will also show you a number of different ways how to make artboards. So I'll start here. I'm going to press create. And now I have an artboard. Now, the artboard doesn't show up on its own panel. It shows up in the layer panel. So it's kind of like a grouped layer, ideally, but you could have grouped layers inside of an artboard. So you're, the way it shows up is this. So I could turn on and off artboards. I could collapse the artboard so I only see the name. So this is the artboard title, we're going to call that. And then inside, you have many, many different layers. So if I want to keep on adding more and more layers, I can, whatever uh, that's that happens to be. So what I could do to make more artboards, I can actually use, if I click on the artboard title, you'll see that my move tool has now moved, turned into an artboard tool. So just like in Illustrator, there is an artboard tool. So if I click on the layer, it goes back to the selection. If I click on the artboard title, it'll show the artboard tool. So what can I do with the artboard tool? Well, if I have all these little plus signs around the artboard, I could click on one and it makes the exact same size artboard to the right or below it or how many I want, whichever side. I keep on clicking and clicking and clicking. Great. Now I could also, how do I change the dimensions of an artboard? Well, right here, because it's selected, I could change the dimensions here on the control panel here. I could change it up to whatever, let's say 1800. Okay, cool, now it's 1800. Or I could use my property panel. So on once again, you don't have it here, window and properties. And I could change my width and height here. Now mind you, there's also an X and Y, don't get those confused. Sometimes you'll see W here and H here, but just be sure that this is the W and that's the H. You could change those. So you could change them right there too as well. Great. Now, another thing I can do here is I have my artboard tool open. I can actually just click and drag and make a new artboard and there it is. That's my new artboard. Beautiful. I could change up the dimensions right here if I want to manually. But of course, normally we actually have very specific sizes for our artboards. So I wouldn't really be changing that up. Uh, manually, I would have their specific dimensions. I could change here or on the property panel. Now, another way to add new to artboard is just click on your drop down and new artboard right there. So there's a new artboard, and I'll just say artboard three. Now, there are presets if you wanted to look at that new artboard. You could look at a bunch of different presets that they give it given us in terms of different dimensions for Mac. Uh, uh, objects and, and uh, potential uh, different resolutions, uh, iPads and laptops and phones and watches. They have a lot of different presets, but I usually do custom. I don't really use any presets. And once again, I should name these properly. So what I am going to do, I'm going to set up a certain project I have working on uh, the proper way. So I'm going to do that uh, at the moment. So if I just pressed OK, there was my artboard number three. But once again, if I don't want an artboard, I can just click on it, press delete, click on it, press delete, and it is gone. So I'm going to start all this over one more time. I'm going to delete all this. Don't save with file and new. Now this time I'm not going to click on artboards. I'm just going to say, okay, and I'm going to create. Now this is not an artboard, but what I can do is convert this to an artboard. So I'm going to release it. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to have it selected, obviously. And I'm going to new artboard or sorry, artboard from layers. So this current layer, I'm going to convert it into an artboard. So I'll just say artboard one. Now this one, I'm going to be specific. I do want to name these ones properly. This is my workspace one. And it's going to be 1600 by 1200. And these are going to be my workspaces that I'm going to work with. I'll say, okay. And there is my workspace, 1600 by 1200. And yes, it's 1600 by 1200 here and here. So that's, it's correct, of course. So now what I want to do, and now to move it around, I can move it around very easily with, so now watch what happens when I click on the layer inside of the artboard, my move tools, uh, selected my selection or move tool. If I click on the artboard title, it automatically converts to an artboard. So I could also now duplicate these if I wanted to. So not only can I make a new artboard uh, up here and click on these, I could also click, hold on option, click and drag, and there's my new artboard, just like that. Now I could have also done that here in the layer panel. Hold down option, click and drag, 
and now there's my new artboard as well. Now they just happen to be over top of each other. Now to move it, very simply, I just click and drag and move it. That's not a big deal. And they're gonna be aligned using my uh, smart guides around right now, so just align that way. So this one I'm gonna call Workspace 2. And I'm, oh, I always do that. I'm gonna move it over. I actually grabbed it by the name. That was another way to do it. I actually don't like the way that that always handles itself. If I click on the name, it kind of highlights it. That's okay. I'm going to do this one more time. Well, now that's workspace too. So actually I'm going to click on this one, bring it over here. Oh, where'd you go? A little finicky. That's okay. There we go. I just undo it. And there it is. And now of course, workspace two, I'm going to duplicate down here. Or you know what? I'll just do it this way. I'm just trying to do it. If you use a few different ways, I'm going to move it over a little bit. And I will call this what I want to call it workspace three. And once again, this is also 1600 by 1200. So if I did it right and just duplicated them here, the name would already be there. I could do it that way. Uh, but either way, they're, they're totally fine. I'm just going to align these up a little bit better. And there I go. Now I have one more, two more I want to make. So I'm going to actually duplicate these over here. So I'm going to duplicate this one, one, two, and three. I'm going to duplicate number three. And remember, if I twirl it up, twirl it down, now remember workspace one and two actually have layers on the workspace of three, it does not. So just because the way I duplicated it. So I'm gonna actually take workspace two, duplicate it. I'm going to move it by clicking on its name, bring it down here, align it with my smart guides, kind of ideally. And I will just name it differently. This one is actually gonna be an Instagram. And this is gonna be 1080 by 1350. Now, how to change the dimensions. So once again, I'm just gonna drag it down here. So I could change the dimensions with the title selected, the artboard title selected. I could change the dimensions here or here because my artboard tool is on. So this is gonna be 1080, 1350. And that's it, done. Now, once again, I'm gonna duplicate this here. I'm gonna drag this over just a little bit. And now I could change the name of this one here, double click. This one is gonna be a Facebook workspace and it's 1200 by 628. Now it's always a good idea, label, 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 please, 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 very important. I'm gonna change the proper dimensions of it to 1280. Or I could have changed it up here, same idea. Now, I am good to go. Ah, uh, sorry, 1600, 1280. I did not do that, 1600, 1280. Six, sorry, 1260, that's what I wanted. 1200, 628. Getting confused with my dimensions here. All right, there we go, that's it. My artboards are set up, I'm looking pretty good. Now, of course, like I said, you can make a new artboard. Well, just by clicking on here, new artboards, that's great. And I changed the dimension. So a few different ways to make artboards and a few different ways to change the dimensions of artboards. I could also click on an artboard and actually manually change the dimension if I wanted to right here, but not necessary, but I can manually change artboard size as well with the artboard tool. Now let's actually play around with the artboards because what you may know uh, with InDesign normally is that when we bring in an image into Photoshop, this gray area, the workspace, cannot be used. It's no law, it's not actually uh, visible. In Illustrator, if we were to bring images around here, you could totally see everything inside the workspace. It's, it's great. Now, because the Photoshop workspace is kind of infinite, uh, you can kind of put whatever you want, but normally if you put elements in it, you can't see them. You could only see what's on the canvas. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna click and drag uh, an image into Photoshop. And right now, with nothing selected, but look, nothing is selected. I'm going to click and drag, and I bring in an image, and there's my image. And look where it just drags right in the center, and that's totally fine. And it looks great, and here it is. Now, why it's getting cut off, I'm not too sure, but it is, and that's okay. So what I can do here, as this image is kind of just out there doing its thing, I think I just have a little bit of a glitch going on here. That's not a big deal. I can actually have pixels outside of the workspace that will set the way they are set. I could actually see this right now. Normally, it would look more something like this. Let's try to connect it to this workspace. I'm giving me a hard time. Yes, it is. That's okay. I'm gonna go through this in just a second. There we go. Normally you have something like this where you can't see the outside surrounding pixels. It's stuck inside here, kind of like a clipping mask where you can only see some pixels and the other pixels are hidden. But generally, if I did have an image connected to a workspace, if I wanted to release it, from the workspace, I would just click and drag it away, the whole entirety of all the pixels, and now they would be released. And now I could actually see something outside of the canvas. So now here it is, it's outside the canvas. 
And where does it get released to? Well, Photoshop doesn't actually know what you want to do with this, these pixels. So it just puts it at the top of all the artboards. It just says here, it's up top, you do what you want with it. Now for this particular project, what I want to do is I want to convert this image that I just dragged in. I want to convert it and make it its own artboard. Well, how do I take this set of pixels and make its new artboard? I could maybe click on the artboard tool and click and drag around and try to find it. Or I could just select the layer, click on my drop down here, and I'm going to make uh, where did it go? Artboard from layers. That's it. So I click on artboard from layer. So mainly it's going to take this layer, convert it to an artboard. So this one I'm going to call statue. That's it. And it already gives me, it already knows the exact dimensions of it, pixel dimensions. So that's what it's going to make it. I'll say, okay. And there's my new artboard. That's it. There's a new artboard out of a pixel layer that I brought in. And that's it. Very simply. Now, if I did this another way where I did select, let's actually select an artboard here. Let's see where it is. Artboard number three. I'm going to click and drag this image now into the workspace and it automatically connects to that workspace. Now, the thing I don't love about this is that that's, that's obviously not the correct size, but what it does when you bring an image into the workspace, it, Photoshop makes the image the size of the artboard or the canvas that you're on, which doesn't give you the true sense of what it is. However, if I do press enter, the thing I do know about this workspace here, workspace three, is that it turns into a smart object right away. Just like this one is a smart object too, because I clicked and dragged it directly into Photoshop. Now, if I do the opposite, I click and drag and bring this into Photoshop and just open it in Photoshop, not actually in a workspace. And then I click and drag this into my workspace. Well, there it is. And it's not, it's not going to be a smart object. It's going to be just a pixel layer. But once again, I can still do that. I can still convert it to its own uh, new group. Uh, where is it? New artboard from layers. And there I go. I could once again call this statue. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there we go. Now that's an artboard as well. Now to release it from an artboard, I don't want it to be in an artboard anymore for whatever reason, it doesn't really matter. I could select the name of the artboard, the title, the artboard title, go to layer and I can ungroup artboards. So now it's no longer an artboard, it's just a random layer again. And I could do whatever I want with it. It doesn't really matter because it's all an artboard really does is it's just kind of like another container, but it's just a canvas where you put many layers into if you want but it just acts and I could have many artboards in one place instead of just one canvas on workspaces. Now, what I can also do is ideally, it's not a bad idea to color your workspaces or all your artboards as well. And now the new Photoshop, new work Photoshop has more colors I can use, which is great. So before I think there was only like five colors, but now they've kind of increased it to a few more. And I kind of like the seafoam green, but I feel it's super it's far more saturated than some of the other colors, which is kind of interesting. Now, to continue on here, what I want to do, I'm actually going to get rid of this one here, select, I'm going to delete it. I want to drag this picture from this artboard into one of these artboards. Now let's try to do that. Let me show you what happens. I'm going to click and drag. So now notice what happened. I am actually currently on my artboard title, meaning I'm selecting my artboard. My artboard's moving. Well, I don't want that. What I want to have happen here is I want the picture to move. So now I'm actually on the picture layer, not the artboard title, but the picture layer here. I could select my selection tool and click and drag and look at that. Now it's actually releasing it from or moving it around in the canvas. So just be sure what you're clicking on to make sure if you're either moving the artboard or moving the layer. Now, what I want to do, I want to duplicate this because I do want to keep this picture here, but wanna, I want to bring it down, duplicate it, holding on option, and I'm going to drag it over onto this artboard. Now watch what happens when I release. This is a little bit of a glitch with Photoshop. I'm going to release it and hey, wait a second. That's weird. The image duplicated. Yes, the image definitely duplicated, but it showed up here and not in my other space, even though my cursor was over top of it. Well, the reason is you have to release it entirely from the artboard first. See how it's released now, it's not longer in there. Then I can drag and bring it into. Now, even still, that might not even make it perfect that it's gonna release in here. Look, my cursor is on workspace one, whereas I want the image to go. If I release it, okay, it did work, that's good. Now, if I go to workspace one, I see, oh, yes, it is. There it is right there, great. Now, a bit of the issue with moving images or pixels around from one artboard to another is just that. If I click and drag this image, and I drag it over here, and now look, I'm on workspace two, it's not going to work. It's going to stay in workspace one because you need to fully release it. Then you could drag it into 
an artboard. Now, once again, that was re weird too. I wanted to go in Workspace 2, not Workspace 3, but, but the majority of the pixels were over Workspace 3. Let's try that again. Try to bring it into Workspace 2. Let's see if this works. No. Let's see if this works. No. Let's see if this works. Hmm. I'm having some trouble. That's okay. What I can do instead is manually do it here in the layer panel. So right now I'm in Workspace 3. I wanted to go into Workspace 2. I can just click and drag and bring the element into Workspace 2. And there it is. And we can see how it went there. Once again, if I want this to go into the Facebook, I could just click and drag, drop it into Facebook, and now it's on Facebook. So if I can't manually do it on the actual workspace itself, try to release it and then place it somewhere. That worked out, that's fine. And let me try to bring it down here into Instagram. That once again did not work, so let me bring it here. Okay, that worked. So it can be a little weird, but once again, maybe the size of your, uh, the size of it also kind of makes it work a certain way. So now if I wanna click and drag it into two, it will work a little bit better. So if you have a large amount of pixels and it's covering many artboards, Photoshop's probably gonna have a hard time figuring out which way you want it, which art space artboard you wanna put it into. So you just use it over here, it makes it a little bit easier. And that's kind of it, how you would play around with creating new artboards, changing dimensions of artboards, utilizing the workspace in the artboard space, uh, the workspace here in Photoshop, moving images around from one workspace to another, and generally playing around with grouping them, ungrouping them, however that works. So I hope this helps you understand artboards in Photoshop.